I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of our Budget Buster bulk cooking series. Of course, we started with our roast chicken. chicken we edition. Yeah, chicken edition. We moved, we worked on our, our roast chicken. We moved on to our chicken and stuffing casserole. Tonight we're having chicken pizza two ways. So let's go see how this all comes together. I have spent the last two hours on the phone trying to remedy a problem with one of my girl's cell phones. Very frustrating. In the meantime, my pizza dough over rose and I really wanted to make this video because this is part of our bargain, our budget buster, bulk cooking, our roast chicken series and I want to make roast chicken pizza two ways. And today we're gonna do a Hawaiian barbecue chicken pizza and we're gonna do a um, buffalo chicken pizza. So really, these are super easy. I made my pizza dough recipe. This is my big batch pizza dough recipe. And I already put them out on the pans because I did that while I was on the phone because I was multitasking. And I just spread some barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite is. I have a great recipe for almost sweet baby raised barbecue sauce on the channel. And a lot of people love that. I also have a really great Jamaican jerk Caribbean style barbecue sauce that is equally as delicious. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna build our pizza. And because this is real life and because it's been one heck of a day, we're just gonna go with it. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and put some mozzarella cheese. And I'm not going to do a recipe for this because I'm pretty sure all y'all can figure out how to make a pizza and you all have your own favorite cheese blends and stuff that you like to do. This is just traditional mozzarella. The only thing that I like to do a little bit different with my chicken pizza is I do like to throw a little cheddar or Monterey Jack cheese on there. So what I have here is I have shredded one chicken breast from our roast chicken dinner. And now I have some thigh meat and some leg meat and a half of a chicken breast because I used a half of a chicken breast in our chicken casserole. So we're gonna use half of this chicken meat for one pizza and we're gonna use the other half for our buffalo chicken pizza. And you can see there's plenty of chicken on this pizza and there's plenty of chicken left for the other pizza, which is over here. So what I did was I, uh, I just have some pineapple slices in a can that I drained and if you want, you can put some red onion and some bell pepper on here, but today I'm keeping it really simple because I was on the phone for so long doing that and I didn't have time to chop any vegetables and my pizza dough is getting really puffy. So we're gonna have super puffy pizza tonight and that's okay because sometimes that's just how good. it is. It might be good, you never know. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add Now I get this bag cheese, which doesn't have any of that junk in it, um, from Harris Teeter. And a lot of times they sell this buy two, get three free. So when you do that, the, the cheese ends up being $1.18 a bag. And who can turn that down, right? So that's one pizza ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna throw it in there now. Up next, I have the skin all laid out. I so skin, the dough, pizza, the pizza dough. I call them pizza skins, you know, when they're cooked. Sometimes you call them a pizza skin, and that's okay. What I have here is a traditional buffalo wing sauce. This is just a cup of Frank's hot sauce and a half a stick of melted butter that I whisk together. Now, this is an optional step I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna get my instant clear gel out because this is a little bit runny and I think I want this to be a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of clear gel in here and I'm gonna stir it up. And you should see it begin to thicken up just a little, but it's gonna have a little more body to it. You can see right now, it's nice and thick. 
Now, Instant Clear Gel is a modified food starch. It's lovely, you can use it for hot and cold applications. This is not the kind of clear gel that you would use for home canning, okay? So, that is the perfect consistency for a pizza style sauce, and that is exactly what we're looking for. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this buffalo sauce. Smell it. it smells like buffalo sauce right mm -hmm. you put as little or as much as you personally like we're gonna go ahead and go in with the mozzarella cheese just like that and then we'll go in with our chicken and I'm gonna put some cheddar on top of this one too if you have specific toppings or seasonings that you like to put on your pizza, you should do that at this time. But what I would like to point out is that I made two pizzas with one cooked chicken breast that I just shredded by hand. So that's gonna feed, at, it's gonna feed us tonight and tomorrow to be honest. This pizza is gonna probably feed us for dinner tonight. We'll probably eat most of one pie, and then um, we'll have it for lunch probably tomorrow and Saturday. So that's a real bargain. Homemade pizza is super cheap to make, and if you haven't tried making it on your own, this is a great way to use leftovers. You can use just about anything on top of a pizza and make it delicious. So I'm gonna put these uh, this in the oven at the same time as the barbecue chicken pizza, and I'll be back when they're ready to come out. And there you go, chicken pizza two ways. We've got our kind of Hawaiian chicken barbecue pizza and our buffalo chicken pizza. They smell amazing. I told you they would be super puffy pizza because the dough was allowed to rise and I pushed it down after an hour and while I was still on the phone with the phone people, I had to let it kind of get puffy again before I was able to roll it out on the pans and then it was even more of a little while before I was able to top it, get all the equipment set up and make this video for you. So we have super puffy pizza and that's what it looks like. The crust is, is crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside and it's a little bit thick. I think it's gonna be delicious. It's nice and dry on the bottom. It didn't stick to my pans. These are my favorite pizza pans and these are just non-stick 16 inch pizza pans. These are my favorite ones because they clean up really easy and um, they're not that expensive. So, chicken pizza two ways. Literally, we made this with one chicken breast shredded, made 16 slices of pizza. This is gonna make everybody happy. I will be surprised if everyone can eat more than two pieces because these are big and they're super puffy pizza. So. It's gonna be really filling and delicious and everybody's gonna like it. I laughed when they came out, when this one came out of the oven, I laughed, I said it looks like a Tsum Tsum pizza. For those of you who know what a Tsum Tsum is, that will be funny. Um, so, um, yeah, that is how we do uh, another meal out of our two seven pound chickens. And we have even more to come. I have more chicken in the refrigerator. We're gonna be using that to make a sour cream enchilada chicken casserole. And then we have soup. So that will be five meals out of two chickens for four people. And I think that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made chicken pizza two ways. And if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're not already, be sure and hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, be sure and hit the bell button so you don't miss any notifications of when I upload because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here from our kitchen and on our YouTube channel. So I hope you give Chicken Pizza Two Ways a try along with budget busting bulk cooking. And if you do, I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.